Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Timothy Adon, composer by day, gamer by night. And in this video, I am going to show you how to use WISE. More specifically, since I'm going to make this a slightly longer series, I'm going to show you how to import audio and I'll talk a little bit about events. Audio Kinetic does have their own tutorials videos, which I do suggest you go watch because they are fantastic. I'm just going to use a slightly different language. Uh, read less professional. Now, if you look at the lower left corner of this screen, you will see the event viewer. This is where all of the events you create are going to be listed in uh, alphabetical order. Here up in the upper left is the project explorer, where, where you can see all of the containers and... Uh, audio objects that you have placed in there as a list. In the center of the screen is the contents editor where um, where any of the containers or objects that you click on in the project explorer will then show what is contained within that object in this screen. Also feel free to follow along. You can download WISE from the Audio Kinetic website for free. The limitations are 200 sound object limit and not allowed to do anything that'll make you any form of money whatsoever. Uh, it is the uh, essentially the demo version of the software, but all of the functionality is there. So go ahead and download it and follow along if you want. Obviously, the next thing you're going to want to do is import audio. So just go into the actor mixer, uh, hit the import audio button, add files, and then search your system for any of the sound effects or music that you want to import. Alternatively, if you're lucky, you can drag and drop it into the actor mixer hierarchy yourself. However, for me, that doesn't really seem to work, so I do it manually. Also, as a note, there are a number of articles talking about how awesome it is to be able to use the sound generators that come with WISE to make music and sound effects without actually having to import audio. This is something I haven't tried yet, but something I will want to try in the future and might do a video on if I feel like I can do it in an interesting enough fashion. Once you've imported the audio, just select it and hit the space bar. That should play the audio, just like most DAWs will, and uh, will let you know that it has been imported correctly. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put these audio objects into containers. And for the moment, we're going to keep this really simple. We're going to put them both into a switch container and then put each sound into their in own individual random container. Uh, a switch container is used to switch between different types of sounds and random containers are used to randomly select between a group of sounds. Sorry, my lovebird is in the background. I don't know if you can hear her, but she's cute. Um, and I don't, I'm not going to go too heavily into, uh, how the containers work quite yet, but this is necessary for now to get it set up, uh, and working for when I create the events next. And if you're following along, this will also help you out immensely. So you're just going to want to right click on the objects, select new parent, and then switch container, and then... Do that again for the objects and select random container for each of them and then name them appropriately. For the switch container, I named them foot materials and for the random containers, I named them exactly what they're going to be, which in this case is uh, concrete left heel and concrete left toe. You'll notice if you double click an object in the project explorer, you'll come up with this window. It will have a volume fader, just like in any digital audio workstation. It will also have a high pass filter, low pass filter, and pitch slider, each of which has their own randomizer included that you can turn on and off as you wish and set the parameters for the randomizer so that you can give the sound a little bit of variation every single time it plays. It also has all of these tabs that I will go in later. But the other things that'll be important are playback behaviors and the like, which we'll leave alone for the moment. So now we're going to create events a little bit in the easy way. Select the two random containers and right click on them and hit new event for all objects, I think is what it is called, and then hit play. There's going to be a long list of different events, but for now we're just going to hit play. And now we have a play event for both of these objects, which will play at the same time. 
Since the heel and toe generally do not step down on the ground at the same exact time, you can go and you can modify the delay for the toe component, and you can set it to however much you want. And set whatever number you want in order to make it sound as accurate as possible, and even set that to a random con uh, a randomizer so that that changes ever so slightly every time you play it as well. Now, if you go back to this screen, you'll notice that there are a ton of different things, hi Peachy, that you can do here. I mean, you've got the delay, you have fade in, fade out, um, and then you have this long list of events, and this opens up the doorway to do some really seriously interactive audio, because one event can host any number of play of it. <clears throat> Any number of play events, or stop events, or bypass events, or switch events that then switches how music plays or sounds play. And so you have all kinds of different options. Now here is your homework if you feel like following along for the next episode when I eventually put that up. I want you to record, and you can record, uh, I want you to record footsteps. You can record the foot, foot, uh, the heel sounds and toe sounds separately if you want. Uh, or not, that's entirely up to you, but I want you to record footsteps for both the left foot and the right foot uh, on concrete, grass, and gravel, because that will be pertinent for the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye-bye!